According to the Minister of State for Northern Uganda, Grace Freedom, the Northern Uganda Social Action Fund 3 has lifted the livelihood of over 600,000 people through 12,693 projects since 2016. The fund was implemented under the third Northern Uganda Action Fund within eight subregions of Northern Uganda as an initiative to improve the welfare for poor and vulnerable households in Northern Uganda. Reached 606,338 people against the 599,600 targeted. And this covered 5,299 villages. 1,536 parishes in 67 districts of northern Uganda. However, government noted several cases of corruption during the implementation of the project which are being addressed. And I can also say some people are on the run. <coughs> we have a case of uh, a Nusa desk officer of Arua who has been interdicted and he is on the run. So some of them were made to refund the monies they took. However, the minister admits that despite the achievements, poverty rates in northern Uganda remain high and far above the national average of 20.3% as 52% of the population still practice subsistence farming compared to 39% at national level. And the reasons for this poverty increase is relying on traditional farming methods with rudimentary tools, lack of agro-processing and minimal value addition, natural disasters. The minister is now proposing to increase the fund in order to reach an estimated 5.6 million poor and vulnerable people in the greater northern Uganda. She estimates that under the 4th Northern Uganda Action Fund, the monies available to the vulnerable should rise from $130 million to $250 million. We worked with in NUSA 3 was not very adequate and it made us spread very thin on the ground. On January 24th, Cabinet authorized the Office of the Prime Minister to expand the intervention from Northern Uganda to Busoga sub-region. Nobat Atkunda. NTV.